So hey there everyone, welcome to the channel as always. I'm gonna jump right into this. Today I was supposed to be working on the new Mavic 3 Enterprise and putting together some videos to share with you since we just recently purchased it. We're going to be setting up the Mavic 3 Enterprise for another component in our drone business. But I gotta, I gotta totally switch gears. This has really messed up my morning after reading this. <laughs> and I want you to follow along with me here and tell me if I'm crazy. But um, one of our folks on our Discord channel, we've got a private AZ drone Discord channel, and one of our folks posted up a link to DJI's forum, and we've got a an article here, uh, July 1st, 2023, so not quite the 4th of July yet. And so it's a bunch of blah, 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 uh, talking about remote ID and the FAA's, uh, the FAA's claims. And they say, so right here, um, there are several things that can be done. You can update the drone's firmware. Several DJI's latest and most popular drones have obtained or will obtain the firmware updates to support remote ID. And, you know, when DJI was talking about this months ago, it sounded like some of the legacy drones were just not going to be there. So that's where you get one of the remote ID modules or something. And so scrolling down further so they can purchase a separate broadcast uh, module, which is something I did. And by the way, I'm not pro or con remote ID here. I'm not playing either side of that. I did a video several weeks ago about the drone tag mini and its ease of setup. And I didn't say this is a great thing or horrible thing or anything like that. Some of the comments that I got on that particular video, that video was posted weeks and weeks before the big uproar with XJet and some of the other folks about remote ID. I understand their concerns and stuff, and I don't mind you commenting here. Keep the language reasonable. Thank you. This has always been kind of a PG, PG-13 channel, so I've had to delete some of the comments because, frankly, they were rude, and we don't need to be rude to each other. We're all dealing with this thing. So anyways, today's game changer here is that it looks like DJI um, is going to be including firmware updates for other drones in their stable of drones. So I just want to go through this. We were expecting, okay, like the um, the Mavic 3 lineup, the Avada, we've got Avada here, and yes, um, it already has remote ID on it. It came with a firmware update after we first got the drone. And um, so it's all ready to go. But so the new ones, Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Sin, um, Mavic 3 Classic. Let's go back up here. Broadcast module needed. I want you to read that because I want you to tell me if I'm crazy here or not. So they're saying you don't need the broadcast module if you have one of these with the firmware update. As we continue down, Mini 3, Inspire 3, Mavic 3 Pro, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Mavic Air 2. Uh, will not need it. Firmware upgrade will be available by September 30th. Mavic 2 Zoom, not going to need it because it's going to be available on December 31st, 2023. Mavic 2 Pro, <laughs> nope, they're going to have a firmware update. Phantom 4 Pro V2, nope, they're going to have a firmware update. If I'm reading this correctly, my purchase of the drone tag mini was premature to say the least but i wanted to make sure that we were going to be compliant for our business purposes so it sounds like here that a lot of the uh, a lot of the drones that uh folks that i talk to regularly a lot of the drones that they work with as well are going to have a firmware update and that's all we're going to need so I'm not saying positive, negative, anything, but I am saying, what the heck, DJI? Could you guys have said this a couple of months ago as people are getting ready for remote ID? You know, whichever side they come down on, if they're not going to comply or if they are going to comply, you know, would have been great to hear this a few months ago. So we're still going to keep the drone tag mini around because scrolling back down, Mavic 2 Pro, hey, I got a couple of those. Phantom 4 Pro, hey, I've got one of those. Um, will not need a uh, broadcast module. The firmware upgrade will be available by De uh, December 31st, 2023. So from September to December, I'm going to need something on those drones. So I guess that's where the drone tag mini comes in for me. And um, just, gosh, if you guys could have just said something a couple of months ago. So let me know if I'm wrong here. 
Uh, but it does sound like all of these are going to be compliant with their own internal thing. And by the way, I'm putting up on screen right now a screen capture from one of my Mavic 2 Pros. I want you to see that. And it's a screen capture from in my menu for the Mavic 2 Pro. One of the first items you see is a remote ID toggle. Now, I'd seen that you know for quite a while since I got the uh, Mavic 2 Pro, and I'd always wondered, is this remote ID that's already native to my Mavic 2 Pro, is this legit and will it do it? And, you know, I'd ask questions on forums and people said, nope, nope, that's that's not it. You know, that's another DJI thing. But now it kind of looks like that's it. DJI, give us a heads up so that we're not overspending our money. <laughs> I would appreciate that. All right, everybody, now I'm going to go back and work on the Mavic 3 Enterprise again and check everything out. But in the meantime, Take a read through this, please, over on the DJI forums. It's the remote ID statement from July 1st, 2023. Give it a read through. Tell me if I'm wacky here. And keep it nice. Thanks, everybody.